Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of Today in History. Today's June 20th, 2022. Uh, and happy last day of spring. I ho- and I hope you're all looking for forward to the first day of summer, 2022, tomorrow. Also, this is a very great week for my YouTube channel. Uh, because this week uh, marks the one year anniversary of my YouTube channel. That's right. It's been one full year since I've joined YouTube. And in that time, a lot of great things have happened. And a lot of positivity. And it's all thanks to you. I greatly appreciate that. So anyway, on to today in history. Uh, We have, uh, and I found some quite interesting events that happened on June 20th. So, first off... Film murder angers U.S. American TV reporter Bill Stewart was gunned down by Nicaraguan National Guardsmen on June 20th, 1979 as he walked towards a roadblock with a white flag in one hand and his official yellow press card in the other. The sequence was filmed and relayed on American television, shocking the nation. It is expected that President uh, Carter, Jimmy Carter, will review the question of America of American support to the regime. I didn't know about that, and I don't think you did either. It's quite interesting uh, what history teaches you. And of course, Jimmy Carter uh, is actually still alive. Uh, Jimmy Carter, of course, served as America's 39th president. Uh, serving in the White House from 1977 until 1981. And uh, today, he's still living. He's 97 years old. The oldest living uh, president uh, in the world. The oldest living American president in the world. Uh, And he's broken that record many, many times. Also today in 1930, Broadway hot for Satchmo and Fats. Uh, no, not Fats Domino, uh, f- a different Fats. Fats Waller and Louis Armstrong took New York by storm tonight when their hit review, Hot Chocolates, opened on Broadway. Hot Chocolates, which takes its title from the 12 gorgeous dancers who feature in the show, first opened at Connie's Inn in May of 1929, and critics couldn't praise it enough. Armstrong is at his gravelly best singing, Ain't Misbehavin', while the pianist and vocalist Thomas Fats Waller takes credit for a number of ex- of the excellent songs. Uh, also today in 1975, uh, the movie Jaws was released, uh, and uh, the famous movie about a, uh, a shark who eats people and uh, that movie actually scared people so bad uh, they initially refused to go back into the water whenever they went back to the beach. True story. And also today in uh, in U.S. state history, U.S. state history, uh, West Virginia uh, became America's 35th state. Uh West Virginia uh, joined the Union during the American Civil War. In fact, it actually it it actually split from uh, Virginia. Congress actually agreed to let uh, part of Virginia split, and thus became the Bri- and thus became America's thirty fifth state, West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia is uh, nicknamed the Mountain State because of its many mountains. And its capital is Charleston, which is also its largest city. West Virginia was one of two states that joined the Union during uh, the Civil War. The other one was Nevada, which became America's 36th state in the fall of 1864. Nevada, of course, is nicknamed the Silver State because of its history of silver mining. And the capital of that state is Carson City. And now for some birthdays. Uh, first off, we have Errol Flynn. 
uh, who was born today in 1909. He was a Hollywood actor, and he was mostly known for uh, ro- for uh, playing uh, characters in swashbuckling uh, Hollywood movies. But like many Hollywood actors back in the day, uh, he exper- he experienced uh, much success uh, before dying way too young. In which case, he died in the fall of 1959 at the age of only 50. Uh, Another birthday we have today is Lionel Richie, who is 73 today. Uh, American singer and songwriter, best known for the song Say You, Say Me. And finally, we have uh, Nicole Kidman, who is 55 today. Uh, She is an Oscar-winning actress. Uh, And although she was born in Hawaii, she was mostly raised in Australia, so she's she is mostly Australian, but also some American. That's all for today in history. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and please uh, stay tuned for uh, this week's edition of Random Video Thursday for my movie review of Lilo and Stitch. Until then, please remember to like this video, share it with your friends, comment down below, and please subscribe. I'll see you next time.